the centerpiece of the City of Whiting's 125 year anniversary celebration this year was the brand new Lakefront Park, a gravel parking lot renovated to the tune of $10 million. This was laid to waste in one evening as a vicious Halloween windstorm battered and flooded the one month old park, causing significant damage. Concrete was torn up, 20,000 pound rocks were washed into Lake Michigan, and waves as high as 20 feet flooded the shoreline. Within a few days, the lake water had receded. So it's exactly one week after the big Halloween storm here at Whiting Lake Front Park. Right now it's about 45 degrees, winds are out of the south at about eight miles an hour, which is nothing compared to the way it was a week ago. We actually were here yesterday to do this piece, and I'm gonna show you some of that footage right now. The winds were blowing at about 25 miles an hour, which was pretty bad being here because the wind chill was about 32 degrees, which was nothing compared though, when you think about it, to the Halloween storm, where winds were sustained at about 45 miles an hour, with gusts coming off the lake at about 70. To put that in perspective, the National Hurricane Center classifies a hurricane at 73 miles an hour. Despite the storms, the city is not letting the damage dampen its holiday spirit. A week after the storm, crews from Cicero, Indiana began installing light displays for the first annual Whiting Parade of Lights. Thousands of lights will be featured on the drive through the park, which is scheduled to begin during the last week of November.